Okay, well, <laughs> we are at Talladega in the Arca car, unfortunately. <laughs> um, this is uh, a bad idea, just to be straight up honest with you. Um, super speedways are kind of a wild card to begin with, and uh, coming here in the Arca car with no cautions, well, that means... First of all, qualifying is going to be very important because you can't just hang back and, uh, you know, wait for them to wreck. Because when you check up for that wreck to not get in it, well, suddenly, suddenly you're 100 miles back and you're not catching back up without a caution, so. The only safe place to be, I assume, is probably first, and that's not particularly safe either. So, we're going we're gonna to try. Try to get uh, up front, say uh, as close up front as we can, so we have less chance for guys wrecking in front of us. Uh, man, it's gonna be interesting. Um, could be kind of fun in its own way. I'm, I'm interested in, you know, seeing how these uh, Arca cars race here. Did a little practice, and it was, was kind of fun to drive, but it's just not very fun <laughs> knowing that. Inevitably, you're probably going to be in a wreck, and there's not much you can do about it. And uh, there's not much you can do driving-wise either, other than just hold the pedal down and hold your line. Uh, you can't bump draft in these, um, as I'm sure many are aware. It's uh, you just ne you're never going to get the bumper square on the guy in front of you. So bump drafting is not a thing. And I'm hoping that everybody in top split will know that and are experienced enough not to know not to do it, but we'll see about that. Um, pretty scary. And it, I mean, it also means that if you just accidentally get a run on someone and tap them on the back, they could very easily get spun around, so. Uh, it's loaded with danger. <laughs> That's for sure. So I'm going to do my normal thing, try to get as close up front as I can, this very important qualifying run, and uh, just try to stay at maybe the bottom line probably, keep it low, keep it steady, and uh, hopefully be there at the end. I'm only going to do this once this week, so if it goes poorly. I'm not coming back to continue tanking my I rating and all that. It's just uh, not particularly too fun for me, but I do I do want to give it a try, give every track a try, whether I'm good at them or if I like them or not. I try to give all the, you know, I try to give series uh, a try in any case. So, we'll see. Holding my line down here. What do we got? 53-2. Let's pull for now. But uh, everyone's still doing their second laps, so or I imagine they are. So I imagine we'll drop a couple spots. Still, because I was pretty quick to get out there. First lap was obviously the get up to speed lap, so that didn't do anything. Yeah, there's uh, one spot. We're down. I think I remember racing that uh, 12 car back in Rookie Street Stocks. <laughs> that name's pretty familiar. Could be wrong though. But uh, yeah, we'll drop a couple here. I forgot to uh, on the back stretch. You don't really want to hold it down to the bottom like that. You want to kind of drift up. So like for example, like right here, if you know, get out of the corner and then you just let go of the wheel forgot to do that so that's a little bit of time I lost yeah so you'd want to like going through one and two here but you kind of get to the exit of the corner just kind of let go of the wheel and let it naturally ride and uh, as, if you can make your brake or your uh, not brake bias but rather the uh, the steering ratio as high as possible it helps with the uh, not scrubbing off speed 
and uh, I didn't do that. <laughs> uh, force feedback, I've heard people turning that to zero for their laps, so that way you don't feel anything. Mine's already really low, because you really don't need it here, and um, you know, I like to have a little feeling in it, because it feels better than just dead wheel, but um, it's basically nothing. You just feel some of the tiny little bumps, and I like feeling just the tiny bit of resistance when I'm turning. Just so it doesn't feel like I'm piloting a boat or something. That's a... Uh, Alright. Top 5, I can live with that. I like being on the inside, so... Another thing I did, just to help mitigate a little bit of the natural pull, I kind of moved the steering offset to 0 degrees. But that's just personal preference. I don't think that's going to do much. So... Here we go. I'm not going to bother putting the uh, best lap on screen, because none of that matters here. Part of what's a little disappointing about uh, super speedway racing, there's just, it's not really like, you know, oh, I'm going to try to take this turn better. No, you just hold the, hold the pedal down, turn left in a gradual, steady manner for 20 laps, however, however long your race is. Um, got, a, got a fast repair, so if we get ripped in half, I'll still pray come on out and see if we can get back out, but I don't think it's, I don't know if I'm going to even upload it if I end up wrecked, because that's not fun to watch. If, uh, if it still remains interesting somehow, I'll still put it up, but we'll see. We'll see what happens. I'm a little surprised I'm the five car. Um, it looked like there were a lot of people participating, and it is Monday. It just switched over, so I expected huge turnout. Maybe I'm yeah. second split. That could be possible. But last time I thought I was at Texas in the C fix. I was wrong. <laughs> so hard to even know. I really want to get. Uh, I keep forgetting, but I want to get the. Uh, want to get that add-on, the overlay or whatever, where you can kind of see everyone's strength of field and uh, everything, their safety rating. That could be valuable information. But, uh, just never think about it. I think about it typically right before I do a race, and then uh, I forget by the time a race is over. Alright, sorry about my creaky chair. I'm going to get it fixed. It got super creaky all of a sudden, so now it's constantly in the videos. <laughs> Sorry. So, game plan. Keep on the bottom. If I can get on the end of, inside of someone without having to force it, like if they I don't know, go middle or high in the middle of the straightaway, then I'll, uh, I'll get down there, but I'm not leaving this bottom line as long as I can help it, that's for sure. Is that first gear start? Yeah, it sure is. It looks like there's a lot of gear to go. Eh, maybe not. Nah, that's too quick of a shift, I think. Plus, it's not like I'm starting first, so I think I think second's fine. It's not going to matter once the uh, draft kicks in, anyway. Hopefully everyone around me knows that you can't bump draft. Look at who, who I can see around me. Get familiar with my surroundings. <laughs> As we uh, come to the green, got that weird start at Talladega. Pace car goes off, and then we still got a mile to go before the line, essentially. everyone is uh, patient, gives room. Don't know quite what to expect. I hope you guys will be careful with knowing that there's not yellow flags, but who knows. My preference is uh, just be completely patient and forgiving until like lap 18. <laughs> and even then, still not going to try to force anything crazy. Well, I am going on green. Thank you. Going on green, he says. Wow. 
Why did my internet just cut out? Oh my god. Why did that just happen? Uh, I love that that kind of thing just <laughs> always seems to happen at the worst time. Don't know why that would have happened. Oh my gosh. Okay, well. Inside still got a good jump despite me. I hope I'm not blinking or anything. I'm watching that Q bar. Looks fine. Don't bump draft. Guy's way close to me for no reason. I guess I'm kind of close to the guy in front of me too, though, but. Probably more room. Are they three wide already? Oh, well, we're gonna die. <sighs> That's a bummer. We're not making it to the end of this race. Hopefully we'll get a couple laps in. But, uh, yeah, their racing's way too hard and way too close already. We're never gonna make it. Doom and gloom. Because there's no room. Highline's kind of trucking. Didn't quite expect that, but we're right in the middle now. We have the whole field, so we're just gonna we're gonna perish. <laughs> okay, well that guy just dove down low. All right, hello. Got some wrecks behind us. That's interesting. Maybe we won't finish last at least. That makes me want to back off a little more. All around. Backing out. But not losing the draft. something. I don't know what's going on with my computer right now. Can't lift. Can't lift. Can't lift. We can't lift. We're gonna lose a draft. Go, 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 go. Oh my god. <sighs> bad news, bad news, bad news. Hopefully we can catch back up. It might be okay. I'm gonna need these guys to organize a little bit though. Looking at that uh, oil temp, I'm wondering. Come on, 15. Really? We're not passing right now, we're trying to catch the main pack. Maybe he needed air. Man, that's strange how that outside can actually kind of keep up, man. I guess there's just so much uh, lifting down in that bottom lane when you're following some people. I don't know. But it looks like we're catching that lead pack again. That's good news. I thought for sure we were going to lose it as soon as I saw guys wrecking in front of us. I'm going to have to get some air. Uh, I caught the field, so... don't want to move forward yet and we've caught the field so I'm happy with that 
Oh, look at that. That's really interesting how the second lane almost looks faster than the bottom lane unless he's really lifting that much. He's trying to keep his distance. I have no idea. But even when we were all together up in the front, it almost seemed that way. We're hard on that red line, that's for sure. We just decided to go three wide this whole race, huh? Surprised there hasn't been more wrecks already. Huh. Trying to get a good view. And see some guys like slide up going into the corner. That's concerning. That's how guys end up getting into each other. So we're just going to have to dodge another wreck, probably. Yeah, there's guys in lane one and a half going through the tri-oval. That's, uh, that's not a good long-term strategy. I think there's an ambulance outside. I think they're just preemptively showing up for whatever the wreck's about to happen later. So at least uh, I think we're good to finish in front of some of the guys because they got into the wreck. So. Maybe not a catastrophic eye rating loss <laughs> if uh, we're in bad shape. Kind of wish I was the guy, uh, the last guy in line here, so I don't get run into from behind, but the force seems really patient. And I'm hoping they're ready to hit the brake hard. So you really can't even do that. If you hit the brake hard, then you're out of contention. That's why this is such a dangerous combo. No cautions in the super speedway. It's basically uh, those what unranked, what's it called? Like the pickup cup and stuff, or the carburetor cup? That's what it is. Carburetor cup. Jeez. Let's get a better view. Not even halfway yet. Gotta keep that in mind. Can't help but wonder if someone's gonna blow their engine up there. Because uh, we're on the red line. And uh, they're pretty close packed. I don't know if it's a possibility, but uh, it felt like my temperatures were climbing earlier. If you get someone blowing their engine, like. In the middle of that pack, that's going to be a mess. I think two looks like he might be backing out. <laughs> Still some emergency vehicles outside. They know what's coming. say about this except uh, I'm keeping a close eye up there. My eyes are constantly glued to the car flying into orbit. Oh Jesus Christ. Make me flinch. I raising jump scares man. Also there was that thing where my uh, internet blinked out for a second. That wasn't very cool. So I hope that doesn't happen again. I'm not sure what that would be. Do wanted to move forward again, I suppose. Oh no, there's a lap car up there, and I don't think they know how to get out of the way. I think they're gonna hold the bottom line. That's gonna be dangerous. Before you wanna go, cause they're about to hit a lap car. I'm not interested in that. What are they doing, man? Okay, well they're on top line, but they look like they're scraping the wall.
went for it. I can't lift. So, yep, that's what was going to happen. At least we kept it straight, so we're going to continue the rest of the race like this. Yeah, that's why this isn't going to be fun. That's how every race is going to go. So, uh, duck below the apron here. Keep an eye on the temperatures, hopefully we don't blow. See how much we're losing per lap. And decide uh, if we need to come into pit. So about seven laps to go. Yeah, we're gonna wanna come into pit, I think. Who isn't that exciting? Do we? Maybe we don't. We're still going pretty fast. I think we're gonna keep on it. So we're still going 180. Best. See how much we lose here. Just trying to do the math, seeing how long a pit stop would take, and then compare it to. Uh, to how much uh, we're losing per lap. Damage, so I'm just going to follow this guy. He's probably got damage too, but... It's going to be better for us to be in the draft. Pretty far off the gas pedal, though. Let's see. I think we might be less damaged. Jumping in front of us like a dolt. Alright. <laughs> Is this A car uh, in better shape than us? So he can feel free to jump up front if he wants. I'm surprised our temperatures are looking good too. That's uh, good to see because we took a nice hefty hit to the front. I think the eight might be uh, better shape than us, so I'm gonna lift off maybe. All right, well we're just all passing each other for some reason. I'm just trying to let this guy by so I can draft off of him. These guys, but one are a lap car anyway. I think that guy's actually fine, though. I think he doesn't have damage. So he, yeah, he should be the one leading. Yeah, I'm good with that. I think he pit. So, all right. So we'll just make a make the best time we can going through this. Maybe we'll um, catch another wreck. From the guys up front, I imagine they're probably pretty spread out by now, though. Try to salvage as much as we can. This is going to be the race I upload, no matter what happens from here, though, because this is just how every race is going to go. So this is the most accurate representation of what this is going to be, I think. So that's what it is. That's what you're going to get if you do Arca at Talladega this week. No way on earth that uh, it goes green the whole way or anything. So. To make an okay time. It's a little bit off of uh, all time best. You can see right. there. I put that up to see how much my damage was affecting. But uh, we got a guy that I don't, I don't believe is damaged up front leading this pack, so. Puts us in a good spot. Uh, these guys we're passing here? Yes. Passed a guy there. So we're going to be picking up some more spots before this one's over. It's good to see. So that puts us in 11th now. I like this little uh, train we got going here. This is a, a good spot to be in. 
guess we can uh, take this time to look through the field up front. So we got a nice three car pack at the front. They might wreck each other coming to uh, the white flag or something. Um, they're close enough, trying to get each other to win. There's also a fourth car in there that's a lap down or more. Then we got a nice big pack ahead of us. That one's probably gonna wreck. And then uh, one guy on his own, we're probably gonna catch just on speed. And then uh, we got our little pack here. Which I'm hoping uh, these guys know better than to try to pass each other and instead get the as much time as you can. This lap car that uh, came out with a you know fresh vehicle is helping us a whole lot to keep the pace that we need. Because uh, the guys that are damaged in here, they're not going to be able, even if we were drafting each other, it's going to put a big cap on how fast we were able to go. But since we're able to get the guy in, in front draft and he's able to pull us, that's really helping us, helping us out a lot. Even though I didn't partici particularly appreciate how he jumped out in front of us when we were coming at 20 miles an hour faster, but I'm glad he caught back up and uh, is now leading us. So I believe that's the guy that is actually a spot. So hopefully we can make it our make it around him. Maybe get one more spot for this before this is over and get ourselves a top 10. We're going to be coming with a full head of steam. The one guy that we're racing in this pack is at 8. He's good. Very nice of him not to just straight up block. Not room here, bud. So he might get the speed and we might not be able to pass him. That sucks. <laughs> He's gonna wreck each other for no reason. Cause they're lap cars. I don't know why they don't bother, but let's get down out of the way. In case they're wrecking. All right, that's that. Eleventh place. Could have been worse, given that we were in a wreck. Kind of just had to plow through it and hope that we weren't damaged to the point we needed uh, needed it to be fixed. But all right, wasn't catastrophic. That's about all I could hope for. All right, 11 out of 24. So, random number generator gave us a decent, uh, decent finish. <laughs> sure. Uh, let's take a look at uh, the wrecks. Oops. Chronological, please. Thank you. Let's go ahead and chopper cam it. Volume now, it's kind of loud. What's the uh, volume control for this? I don't remember, I'll just turn my overall volume down. Okay. Blinking. But my blinking didn't come back. I guess they got spawned because they couldn't no one see them. Must have been the first wreck. So 24 is coming in to make it f four wide. Uh, that's that part of the track. It gets kind of weird, where like one lane turns into, a, or you know, two lanes turn into one. So 15 is going where he needs to go, and uh, 24 decided you want to make it four wide, which you can do at Talladega, but. Yeah, that's tough. Maybe they're just going for the same spot. And uh, Talladega's got that weird thing. It merges, so. It's uh, just some unfortunate circumstance there, I think. 24 probably shouldn't make it four wide there, but. Whatever. More blinking? Six bump drafts and a car you can't bump draft. I guess not everybody knew about it, huh? That took a lot of people off. Look at that. Just turns him. Can't bump draft. And uh, he doesn't suffer the consequences. He gets a top three. He just picked my car up. So, 
Isn't that great? Yeah, that's the wreck we ran, I believe. Yeah, I mean, we slowed down a little bit. Helped us not uh, get terminal damage, thankfully. But, I mean, what are you going to do? I mean... That's why I wanted to be up front, but it wasn't going to happen, so at least I wasn't in the middle of it. Just searching for a spot. I see that brief moment here that uh, closes up. We get a little bit of front end damage, but we're okay. Doing okay. <laughs> uh, yeah, let's, uh, let's see what caused it. Wait, we already saw him. What's the guy that? Okay, yeah. Got it confused in my head, so. Yeah, it takes about just about everyone. Front. It's more views of it. <laughs> Just gotta make your way through. I mean, the whole track was blocked. Nothing you can do about it. So, this is lap 15. Blinking. That's all that is. More blinking, probably. Yeah. This is. Back in the field. Team gets in the wall, but I guess they get going again. No, they don't. We passed that guy. That must have been the one guy that was in the pits or something. They must have broken their car. Lots of blinkers in this race. That must have been what that one guy was talking about. Like, why are you blocking for a spot that doesn't matter? I was coming to the line. Fine to me. He was trying to. S and he got there up there in plenty of time. Twenty four just kept driving and ran into him. So, I mean, it's coming to the line. Makes sense to block off the run if you're trying to get that final spot. It's not like he did a last minute block there. He just kind of kept the gas in it. So I'm gonna go ahead and blame the twenty four on there for an unnecessary rear ending. No reason for that. I mean, I guess. I mean, I can't really lift either. That's why these cars aren't so good for super speedways, too. I mean, on the other hand, 24 is coming to the line. You can't lift there, either. You don't know how close you are to those guys to your left and right, so you, you have to get everything you can. It's just, uh... It's what you're gonna get when you get a car that can't bump draft and you put them on a super speedway, I think. So they wreck, but they still get the spots. Pretty much. That they were gonna get, it looks like. So. I imagine that's probably it. Nope, we got some more going on here. Oh yeah, this was coming to the line. In our group. I saw them do that, so I just pieced out <laughs> down here. I'm like, hey, I'm done racing. I don't, I'm not interested anymore. Yeah, what was that for? They really needed that top ten, I guess. Except that guy wasn't on the lead lap. I think he got hit by the eight and then got wiggly. I don't know, man. There's no reason for him to be racing there anyway, I don't think. I don't know. Hard to say what happened. It looked like the 11 kind of lost control, but uh, I saw that and said, no thanks. I'm done. No more super speedway for me. I'm seeing that and I'm like, okay, bye. I'm parking it right here and I'm going home. <laughs> so that's probably it, if I had to guess. This guy blowing his engine on purpose, yeah. That's how I feel too, buddy. Alright, well that was it. That's how uh, Arca at Talladega is going to look this week. If you're interested. <laughs> no cautions at a super speedway is going to be rough. Um, I think that's about as good as I could hope for. Halfway decent finish. 4x. Lead lap, sure. Fine with me, I guess. Bye, Talladega. See you later, and uh, goodbye, viewers. I'll see you somewhere else. <laughs> Bye.